All right, how you guys doing this morning? I'm Rick Bagley with Rick Bagley Contracting. We're on Beacon Street again, and we're looking at the front of the building. We're taking some shots of the outside. What we've done here today, folks, in the past couple of days, I should say, is we've removed some trees, and we're getting the exterior put back together. We're going to try to utilize the good weather the good Lord's given us here. We're going to take care of the siding. We're going to take care of these bump outs, get all this stuff ready for paint before we move back inside because we're running out of decent weather this season. So what we're going to do is concentrate on that stuff, redo the porches, the siding, soffit lines, get the windows in, and once we've got a weather tight shell, we're going to go back inside and we're going to put this thing back together inside. Now if you see on the outside here, you've got these nice old bump outs and the old tin roofs. The tin roofs have had it, they're cooked. We're going to take them off. We're going to rework any of the damaged trim lines. We're going to put down uh, new sheathing over the old sheathing, ice and water shield, and a 30-year architectural shingle with 8-inch aluminum drip edge. We're going to reduce those window openings. We're going to do what's called a fire egress window. And that means that any of these fine firefighters in this city that ever have to come back here to do anything with another fire, God willing it never happens again, are going to be able to get in with all their equipment and their packs on with no problem. That's called a fire egress window. We're going to raise the windows up as well because you just can't get good weather tight uh, weather tight flashing with the way the windows are now. We're going to raise them up and reduce them a little bit. But we're going to make sure we use egress windows on the face. And we're going to center them over the bump outs. And we're going to use um, the siding that was originally put on this building. It wasn't cedar because 100 plus years ago they didn't go to California to get their wood. They used local mills. The local mill siding on this house was spruce, clear spruce, vertically sawn in six foot lengths. It's the longest length you can get for this particular material. And I've elected to use that same product on the house to keep everything as original as possible. All right, I can't believe what a great job this guy's done with his hip roof. Beautiful work. Dave Epstein is a master. The way he framed all these hips, it looks like it's always been that way. And if anybody were to recall from previous videos and pictures they might have seen, this house that we're filming is a sister house to the two next door. If you check those out, you'll see the roof lines, what they used to look like. And then you can go back and see what we've got now. We've gone from a conventional gable 12 pitch roof system with two live valleys to this hip on hip live valley roof system. Incredible job these guys did. Just really thrilled with their work. They did a wonderful job. So if you keep tuning in, you keep checking it out, you're going to see the big transitions that go on on this property. This is going to be a beautiful house once again. We're restoring to its former glory. Keep checking us out. Keep looking at the videos. Thanks for your support. We're glad you're checking it out. Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.